I want to welcome you to my channel, welcome you to this video. What we're going to do today is we're going to build a blog with 250 posts in it. Now this doesn't necessarily include the getting it set up on a server, but that's in another video. I'll go ahead and link that down below. This spreadsheet is just for generating content. I'll put a link down in the description below, which will take you to my website. And on my website, you're going to find this, where can I get this spreadsheet? Once you click that, it's going to take you to a link where you can make a copy of it. But I already have that copy set up over here, but that copy, you're going to be able to look through the spreadsheet, look through the app script, see if you have any questions or anything before you start using it. But this video is going to show you how to use that. So as you go, you're going to need a few things to get started. You're going to need an open AI API key. I have a tutorial up here in order to get started with that. If you don't already have your sub site set up, go ahead and get started up here. And then if you want to use stability.ai to generate images, I find this way better than OpenAI's Dolly. But if you choose not to use this, you can just use Dolly instead. But that A, the stability.ai API key, there's a tutorial here, and then you're gonna paste that key down here. So we have the OpenAI API key, got the WordPress username and password. Now for your URL, this is gonna be the URL for your website. Make sure you don't have a slash at the end, but it starts with the HTTPS colon slash slash. Um, leave that in there. And then for your folder IDs, you're gonna have two folders on your Google Drive. One is gonna be for images that we're gonna create, and one's gonna be for articles from Zimwriter. So if you have any questions about how to get those IDs, I'll put a link down in the description below so that you can find that. And then you're gonna to wanna to set up your niche or your and your perspective in order to establish what type of articles you might want. So if you're gonna to try to do this all in a weekend, I recommend doing this on Friday night so that you can generate the articles throughout the night on Friday night, but we're gonna walk through that here. But if you don't, and in this, what I recommend is just use GPT 3.5 Turbo. I found that to be more than sufficient. GPT 4 seems to be a little bit of an overkill. For here, this is the checkbox to generate the featured images automatically. If you want to do that, you can click this checkbox. If not, it won't generate any images. You can go back and add those on the back end. And if you want to change the size, this is only going to apply to the images that you create with Dolly. If you use the stability.ai, it won't. It's going to be 512 by 512 by default. You can edit that in the app script, but I, there's a lot of regulations on like what, how things work out that I found this to be the most consistent across all the engines. And so if you want to change any of the engines, these are the ones that are currently available via the API key. So as they add more, try to add more things like that. But I found that this generates way better images and it's about a quarter of the price. So it's about two cents per images with Dolly. And it's about uh, half, a, half a cent of per image with the stability.ai. So that's why I use that and the images just are better quality. Down here, you're gonna note, it's gonna be like a calculator. So as you go, it's gonna estimate the cost as we go. And then it'll add the cost from Zimrider. And then the total estimated costs are gonna be down here. Make sure uh, as you get started, make sure you need to click these two things. So this means that you read the terms and conditions from OpenAI, which the link is right here. And then for this tool, this just means that you are responsible. I'm not responsible. This is just a template and you can use that how you see fit. And please just link to my video if you ever choose to use this somewhere else or to promote it somewhere else. So say yes, awesome. So then we're about ready to get started. The first thing we need to do is generate our categories. As you see in this page, the categories are gonna be blank and you're gonna to go to AI Assistant, Categories and Tags, Generate Categories. And whenever you do that, it's gonna ask you for authorization. So with the authorization, you're just gonna go ahead and hit continue. Then click your email account, go to advanced, and then go to AI Assistant. This just allows the script in order to run in the background. Click allow on the bottom, and now you're gonna be able to run it. After this, we're gonna go ahead and hit categories. And we're gonna hit generate categories. It's gonna add a list of categories. It might take a second, so I'm gonna go ahead and run it, pause, and then come back whenever it's all done. Okay, so what I have here 
it will generate about 10 categories for you. I narrowed it down to five because I'm looking for 250 posts. And so for each category, it's gonna generate 10 tags. And for each tag, it's gonna generate 10 articles. So I'm trying to narrow it down to five tags per category. So about 25 total combinations and then 10 per that per article. So then the next stage we need to go to is the tags. And the tags right here, we're gonna to go to AI Assistant, Tags, and generate, we'll generate the max number of tags, but you can do 10 at a time if you'd like. One thing I wanna to note too is as you go in the Categories tab and the Tags tab, you can add them to WordPress as you go. So they'll get uploaded automatically. And you wanna make sure you do this before you start uploading your post. But I'm gonna go ahead and hit Generate Max Tags. Whenever that's done, I'm gonna come back, but make sure you do this. If you're doing it in peak hours, you might run into issues where OpenAI limits how much you're doing, things like that. So if you run this at night, you might be, have a little bit more luck, but I'll do that, hit pause, come back later. So as you can see here, we're gonna have our topics, we're gonna have our related categories. We're gonna go through each of these and it's gonna generate articles within this article tab. Make sure that you limit whichever ones you don't like, go ahead and remove things like that, because it's gonna generate 10 for each combination. So what we're gonna do next, again, if you want to add those to WordPress, you can go ahead and do that. But we're gonna move on to the articles tab. This one, you can generate 10 articles at a time, or you can generate the max number of article titles. I'm gonna generate the max number of titles. That way, whenever we come back, we can kind of make that list for Zimwriter, and I'm gonna show you how to get that through with that too. So once you go ahead and get all those generated, it's gonna look something like this. I highly recommend that you go through, check to make sure that there aren't duplicates or uh, maybe not any commas either. The commas are gonna get separated in the Zimwriter, so that's gonna create some issues. But go ahead and make sure that you have enough. And you're, you might need to go through this a few times in order to get enough because the Google App Script only gives you six minutes per execution. So likely can't do all of the articles at once. You're gonna have to run it again once that time runs out. You can set a trigger. The trigger, I'll put a link down in the description below on how to set up a trigger, but then you can run every 10 minutes automatically. And then whenever you get done, you're, you'll have all of the articles, but that's a little bit more of an automated way to do this. So whenever you do that, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna generate a list of titles for Zimwriter. So what is this gonna do? It creates this list where each article title is separated by a comma. And we just wanna copy and paste that into Zimwriter. So Zimwriter is gonna look like this. As you might note, I am on a Mac. This is traditionally for Windows only. I will put a link down in the description below on how to access it via uh, a Mac. But this is technically with Wineskin. One of the limitations with Wineskin is I can't use the magic commands, things like that, but I can use the bulk writer. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the bulk blog writer. And it's gonna look like this. I'm going to paste all of my titles into here, each separated by a comma. And I'm going to leave these settings intact. I'll just use automatic keywords here. I like those. Um, and then for the model, I like to use Turbo. So this is all gonna be generated with Turbo. And then we're gonna hit Start Bulk Writer. Whenever that gets done, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next, but that's gonna go to an output folder. If you're using this on a Mac, make sure you set that output folder in the settings before you get started on this so that way it actually writes and you can see where they're at. But whenever you do that, you're going to copy all those output files to your Google Drive. The Google Drive on that first screen where you have your Google Drive folder ID. So make sure you have all that set up and then we are going to come back and start writing these articles. Okay, so we're back and what we're looking at now is these are all the articles that were made by Zimwriter. And then these are all the relative titles for it. If you don't have the title set up, but you already made them, you can go ahead and still drag them to the file and it's gonna look through those already and try to import those from that Google Drive folder into here. So if you didn't have this one, it would find it already, um, but we're gonna go ahead and leave that in. Then the next thing we need to do is we need to start getting these posts set up. So we're gonna do posts and then upload from Zimwriter folder. And it's gonna start at the bottom and work its way up. So if you don't see anything at the top, totally normal. Just go ahead and let that do its thing. Again, you might need to set up triggers or something to 
run it over and over again because it's going to run out of time. But we're going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to come back whenever that's all finished. Okay, so we were able to get all of that uploaded. As you might note, those images got saved to that Google Drive folder where you put that ID in it. That's going to connect to the file ID and upload them to WordPress whenever we get to that step, which is about now. But before we get to that, I just want to say, if you do find this helpful, please check this AI assistant. And then if you do find it helpful, please donate to me. That continues to help support me and my young family. I've got two kids under the age of three, so that really does help. And please subscribe to my channel for any updates. That also is something that really encourages me to make more tools and more videos that do help you. So, but what we want to do next is you can either upload one article at a time, which you can use the upload next to WordPress, or you can do upload all posts at once. What you do want to do after you go ahead and do all that is again, you might need to set up triggers because you're going to run out of time and then check to make sure they're all getting published. But we want to set up all of our things such as draft status. If we want to upload them as a draft, we will do that. If we want to publish them, we'll type in publish. And if we want to schedule for a future posting, we'll do future. Now with that future posting, you need to go over to the publishing schedule and say when you want to post it. So let's say we want to publish it May 1st, 1st, 2023. And then that way it'll schedule it to be posted at that time. And then if you want to allow comments, you can just do open, or if you don't do close, that's what I generally do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to publish all of mine as published and closed. So that way you can see an example. If you go to blogboostseo.com, see an example of what raw Zim, Zim writer looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and publish all of these. We're going to connect back after that is all done. Okay. So that, Awesome, we got this all set up, got them all published. What you're gonna note here is we're gonna publish them all the way to getting that featured image URL. If at any time you see any blanks of these featured image URLs, I don't know why, sometimes it doesn't necessarily work quite right. But you can always go to the AI Assistant posts and get missing thumbnails. So what happens is any of those that are blank they'll get regenerated so that they actually do get generated and it has a featured image. Um, generally like one in a hundred or two in a hundred will do that. Uh, but I wanted to make sure that there's a function that can help with that. So right now, if you're just using this a raw, just got done, uh, put it onto uh, Google domains or whatever hosting service you have, you might look like something like this. We got all this done. So what, I want to do next is I want to go ahead and set up the website. In order to do that, I'm going to show another video on everything we need to do to get the website up and running. But for now, if you're interested in getting this set up for SEO optimization, I use rank math SEO. So I'm going to show you how to connect this to that. And I'm going to put a link down in the description below to help you get started. But before we do that, I just want to mention that the, Cost so far, we're at about 527. That's the cost from Zimrider, that's the cost from the images generated. So we generated about 250 posts for about five bucks so far. So I think that's pretty good. Hopefully you find it good too. Uh, see you in the next video.